Let's go ahead and talk about blog post number one. Welcome, this is blog post number one. We're going to get into some more detail about how I would suggest is the best way to attack this assignment. So the first blog post is uh, structured like this, right? All your blog posts are actually going to be structured like this. I would suggest that you do fi a five paragraph kind of a normal essay uh, structure for each blog. So it's a little more involved. It's not necessarily like a, a small, like a tweet or a Facebook post or something like this. This is more of a blog. It's going to be a little longer, a little more involved. And that's the intention. So paragraph one is your introduction of your big decision. Tell me what decision you had to make. Maybe give me a little background just in one paragraph. So you're going to want to keep it up pretty brief. Second paragraph, you're going to go ahead and jump into the budget constraint, paragraph three, opportunity cost, paragraph four, positive versus normative, and paragraph five, conclude. So we're going to talk about each of these separately now. So this is paragraph one, right? This is your big decision. Your big decision can be related to any part of your life. It can be a job that you had to quit or a job that you took as a decision. Your big decision, what we want to do is we want to keep it pretty simple. So really you're deciding between two options. Maybe in your life you you viewed it as three, four, five, you know, 20 options all at one time. Narrow it down to just where you're deciding between two. This is a decision you've already made, hopefully. So if you're if it's a job, it's a job that you decided to take or to quit. And what was the other option in that case? Education. You decided to go to TVCC, obviously. Which what was your other option besides going to TVCC? You bought something, it was a car, it was a cell phone, whatever it is. What were, what were the options when you went to buy? Selling, of course, the option to sell is, of course, to keep something. What were your options there? And then, and then it could be many different things. I've had people do lots of different decisions related to their life. Every decision that you make has an economic background, and you'll be able to do this assignment with it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, send me an email, come into my office, and we'll talk. Okay, so after the first paragraph, right? That was your first paragraph, talking about your big decision, introing it, telling me what your options were, or at least what you were deciding between, what two things. And now we're gonna talk about budget constraint. So we're gonna stick with two options. We're gonna draw the budget line or the budget constraint line. For that, you're gonna need to know what your budget is. And that's not your total budget for your whole household or your, you know, whatever you spend a month. It may just be the budget difference between the two options, right? How much money you're gonna spend on, for example, you're making the choice to buy a car. So maybe what was your budget for buying a car? And then you're gonna to wanna to know what were the price or cost options. You have two things to decide between, maybe keep your old car versus buy a new car. How do the costs line up on that? And then the end result is you're gonna have a set of possible choices. That's going to be, that's basically what the line represents. And then from that, you should be able to go to the next paragraph, which is opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is when you choose one, what are you giving up? What is your next best option? We're still going to just stick with two options here. Keep it simple. Then our fourth paragraph is normative versus positive. And this is just the kind of statements you may give. A lot of people tend to give these when they're doing their blog post. For example, normative type statements is it's the right thing to do or it's good or it's bad. You know, you're, you're making a judgment choice based on subjective material. I think this was the best thing because I was raised this way or that way or whatever, right? Or maybe you got some advice from somebody. My uncle said to do this and what, whatever. T typically those things are normative type points. Positive. It, are they're going to be factually based? So it costs less. The opportunity cost is what? The price is what? The quantity is what? Those are all factually based things. You're going to be able to give some data to back it up. So talk in this paragraph, talk about what are some of the normative and positive issues that you dealt with with your decision. Maybe some advice you got, maybe some of your own thoughts that you had about your big decision. And then lastly, of course, you're going to conclude. You're going to wrap everything up and say, this is the decision. I'm going to build the rest of my term project on this term. So this is kind of a serial problem is the way kind of to think about it. So this is the first step or the first blog of four. 
So you're going to do this one. The second one we're going to do, it's based on supply and demand. Third one is going to be based on something called utility and elasticity. And then the last one you're going to do is based on market type. And we're going to talk about supply side stuff in that last blog. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or send me an email. You can come into my office as well and we can talk face to face. Have a good one.